Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the simple AI comeback compare and how to set it up quickly and how to get everything working in a new map as quickly as possible. Um, I'm doing this uh, uh, one because I got a request to do it um, and two uh, because I think it is going to be helpful alongside the documentation that is uh, provided as well. So let's get into it. So uh, this top-down uh, project is just uh, uh, it's a it's an entirely different project something I've been something I've been working on for a while um, so I'm just gonna add the uh, simply I come component to it and we're gonna go through all the you know things that probably need to do just to, to get it uh, up and running get it uh, working so let's get through it let's start <coughs> so here we are um this like i said is just uh, it's an entirely different project it has really nothing to do with uh, so we're just going to go through all, it, all the things i need to do to integrate it with uh, your level so um the simple i come back component if you go into the maps uh, for a quick start if you go on to hit play, nothing really happens here, right? So if you do that, uh, you might get a, a warning message. Don't worry about it. All you need to do is just come in here and set that as the DPS SGM, and that's here instead of the blueprints. So if you go on to hit, to hit play now, you can see that we have uh, AI spawned and everything. So if you want to see the the you know the um, the health bars as shown in the videos then you go into the maps and modes and you set the gi the game mode to the bpss gi and you have that <coughs> uh let's see the next one would be if you want to be able to move the camera around and all that then you might have to get into your imputes and just get into the access map pin type and move right and here you probably want to have one as A and one as D and A should probably be minus and there it should be working now, yeah. Okay, so that's basically everything for this, you know, particular map. Now if you want to set this up for a different map, um, one that is not necessarily left or right, like right. Um, say we just go to a new level. Uh, what we're gonna do here is just uh, let's see, nav mesh. We're gonna need a, a nav mesh bounce floating here. <coughs> so we're just gonna switch modes here, or just to get this as uh, done as quickly as possible. And uh, okay, that's done. Now, uh, if you press the P, you should be able to see that, something like that. Now, I'm going to go through two ways to, like, the, the two <coughs> the two ways to preview this. Um, one of them is to drag in your AR. And uh, just do some stuff in there. So, like, for example, you have your AI dragged in here, you have your AI dragged in here. And... If you do this, then what you're going to want to do is type in tag here and just give each of them a tag called EC. Uh, next, you probably want to go into the AI controller and inside of the perception component you, you might want to set this to 180 just so that they can see each other at all times and okay one more thing you might want to do would probably be to go into the con into the ai combat uh, inside of the, the you know the main component and call init car and in here you probably want to just get the all in there and cast to character and there we go All right ok 
Okay. And this should set you up. So now you see Togan Fighter. They're not attacking me because I don't have the EC tag as well. So that's the point. Of course, if you want to see the. If you want to see the health bars and all that stuff, then you probably have to do some additional stuff like what we did inside of the the level blueprint of the side scroll example map. So that's what we're going to go over now. So that that is a very quick way to just you know preview all the you know um, all the things you can do in here. If you want to uh, edit the, you can also come in here and edit the combat components for each of these guys. You can change the montages they use, you can change the RPG values, the combat values and so on and so forth, the personality values as well, you know, aggressiveness and defensiveness of each one. And you can have as many as you like in here as well inside the level. So they all fight each other. Alright, so I think um, after that, let's just call this level X. Save it as X. And let's go back into the Let's just undo what we did here. So, like we did this just uh, for, for you know, to make like as, as, as soon as you get into the level to just initialize the characters. Um, am I forgetting anything? Did we do anything else? Uh, I don't think we did. We didn't do anything here. We didn't do anything here, I don't think. Uh, okay, we, we did set the uh, perception per peripheral uh, vision here to 180 but that's, that's that's fine um, we didn't really do anything here either okay if we want to get rid of these uh, we can delete jumps since we don't have jump um, that should be that okay now to get into um, spawning characters instead or if that's what you want to do or if you don't want to drag them in individually or if you just want to spawn them well then you're probably gonna want to do something like that uh where we probably will just i don't know if we like we can just make them face each other i suppose uh it's fine to leave it as is though but for the purpose of this demonstration i'm just gonna do it this way um next uh let's just go back into the maps and just grab a whole lot of stuff so we're just gonna come here and just grab all this stuff and go back into the X level, open up the level blueprint, delete everything in there, and just paste this here. Now, what you want to do here is you want to get the player starts, uh huh, and get another one here, like that in there, delete that, and I think we should be good to go. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, I think I think that's it. I think we're good to go here. I think we might need to create a dispatcher here, but apart from that, I think we're, ne we're good to go. One more thing, I suppose. I uh, just need to set that there so they can actually get spawned. Um, I really don't want to say, I, I really don't want to have to, um, right now it's just, um, it's spawning me as a, I suppose the two of them, yeah they are, fighting. they are fighting already, I mean it's working, but it's spawning me in the same position as, okay, so I suppose let's just, or if we did this way, uh, or if we used player start instead, get a reference to that, and change that for, Three. Uh, okay, so what we're gonna do because this thing is just uh, uh, <coughs> we're just gonna do it as three. Um, I'm just trying to get past the, the whole thing. So, what I'm gonna do is just create a character for myself, just call it Spectator, and call me Player Zero. And this should take care of the issue. Yeah. So now the two of them should be able to fight each other. Okay. I think one of them is probably going to fall off. Oh.